My name is Emma, I'm 28 years old and I'm from Wilmslow. So I was down in Southport just visiting my nan and granddad at their house and I went out to see my neighbour, who my granddad was already out speaking to, uh, went to say hello but didn't get that far and the dog leapt up and bit me on the face. I kind of just felt it collide with my face. I didn't really feel pain initially. Um, then I put my hand up to my face because I could feel obviously wet blood. And um, I took my hand away from my face, saw my granddad in front of me and he obviously saw the blood and he sort of fell backwards. And at that point I knew that it was bad. So it caused two injuries. The major one was to the left-hand side of my nose. Um, so the dog actually just bit that clean off. So it just basically crushed all the cartilage in my nose and like ripped half of it away. And then it caused like quite a deep laceration to my forehead, just above my eye. So yeah, those were the two main injuries. Initially, unbelievable. The shock that it happened. It's in an instant. One looks back and thinks, how did that happen? She put her hands to her face and realized there was blood. And at that point in time, the problem then was it was real. I just remember waiting for a road ambulance and being quite scared, asking my granddad how much longer. And then before I knew it, there was like a noise above my head and it was um, an air ambulance. I can just remember the uh, red suits running towards me and that's when I knew that the air ambulance had arrived and the, the charity was here. But until then, I didn't realise that they were on the way, didn't realise that was what it was. It was a bit of a shock. <laughs> By the time the air ambulance arrived, I was in quite a lot of pain. The main thing they did for me was pain relief. They put intravenous lines into my hand and they gave me morphine and some other painkiller, which was quite strong. The best part, that the helicopter had a doctor on board. The doctor came and gave treatment that was so good that it allowed her then to be taken in an ambulance to the hospital. I was quite relieved <laughs> to have some help. And um, yeah, the kindness and the care that they showed me on that day is probably one of my prevailing memories, actually. They were so nice to me. They allayed my fears. They told me everything that they were doing, just everything about the charity from the start to finish with the help they gave me was great. Due to the injuries that I sustained on that day, I needed reconstructive surgery. Basically what they did is they took a full thickness skin graft from behind my left ear and they attached it to the left hand side of my nose and then they also just stitched up the top of my forehead. The end result of my treatment is that my reconstructive surgery has been a complete success and that is completely down to the air ambulance arriving so fast within a few minutes of my granddad being on the phone. Then when the road ambulance did arrive as well, they were very, very quick to um, you know, talk with them, make very quick decisions and you know, send me to a different hospital to what they were initially going to send me to as the local trauma centre was too busy to be airlifted to. So they very quickly made decisions to um, get around that and because they did, um, my reconstructive surgery happened the very same night and it was very successful. Yeah, I'm so grateful that the charity came literally at the time when I needed them the most. Nothing I could say on here would literally be enough to, to thank them fully for that. I'll always be in their debt and um, I'm just yeah so grateful for the care that they gave to me.